What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here with the distance for my final video for the day. Um, post fight video for Yuri Yorkis game Bow versus Orlando Salido. I didn't catch Brandon Rios versus Anthony Peterson. Um, I don't even have satellite at the moment because Direct TV sucks. So, because they haven't even came to come fix my system anyway, but. I did catch Gamboa vs. Salido on here on YouTube, and I'm just gonna talk from from um, what I've seen. I've seen the whole fight, but the quality of the video was so bad that I'm just not even gonna get into it. I watched like a Phil a stream from the Philippines, so you know I just kind of put it on mute and watched it. But anyway, on to the fight: Salido vs. Gamboa. WBO, I mean, excuse me, WBA IBF unification bout. Um, I didn't do a prediction for this matchup. Um, I was leaning towards Gamboa's decision. But anyway, in the first few rounds, I say rounds one through four, you know, it's basically the same thing. Gamboa, um, or pr practically every round of Gamboa won, you know, it was Gamboa out working, out hustling, and just out doing um, everything that Salido's doing. He's basically. What the fight was was Salido was chasing Gamboa and Gamboa was getting you know getting the shots off first and just moving using his angles and um, throwing multiple swift um, combinations um, and using you know and also with Gamboa Gamboa was you know doing using a lot of head movement and you know he's a little I think he's a little more I think he's a little tense at times. I think he's a little tense, but he fought at a very fast pace, work, maintained a high work rate, and moved moved very well. Later in the later rounds, though, Salido started to catch up a little bit. He started to come forward, and he kept you know, he, and he got a few good shots off. Um, there was a flash knockdown in round eight. Um, I did like um, it's one of those things where you have to kind of look at it a few times. Um, but there was a punch that landed in Gamboa. Um, I guess um lost balance and fell down, um, but it was a flash knockdown. Um, and then there was two knockdowns in round twelve. Um, two knockdowns. Um, the second knockdown, I think Gamboa. I think a point was taken away because Gamboa hit him while he was down or something along those lines. But overall, it was a very good showing from Gamboa facing a, a veteran fighter who's who actually you know who's a champion. And been in the ring with um, Juan Manuel Marquez, um, and I, I think he took Marquez to the full twelve. Now that I think about it, but Gamboa had, I think it was a decent showing, um, decent showing. Um, I think that, I think that the level of competition is stepping up a little more now. Now he has a unification bout, and I think that the the demand for Yuri York is Gamboa fights are going to be on a much higher scale. And also, what you have to appreciate about Yuri York is Gamboa is the fact that he loves the fight, and he comes to fight, and he fights multiple times throughout the year. Um, you gotta appreciate that. You gotta love a fighter that is willing to fight anybody and fight multiple times throughout the year. You gotta respect that. Um, he's fought about four times this year, I believe. Three, four times this year. So, overall, you know, it's... Overall, hopefully we see him in the ring at at the end of the year. Uh, maybe we can see that matchup against Juan Manuel Lopez um, by spring or summer next year. But you know, I think Lopez has the advantage fighting the better fighters. But and but um, Gamboa has the experience from fighting more often. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, gonna be very interesting. I hope um, we see that matchup in the next year. Or so. Um, Lopez versus Gamboa, maybe a year or so, maybe they could build it up in 2011 and have it in 2012, and it could be on a much bigger scale. But you know, Gamboa had a very good performance. Um, I thought, you know, in the first like six rounds he did very well, six seven rounds he, I thought he did very well, and then he kind of kind of it seems as if he was getting bored. It was like he was getting bored a little bit, and started to coast a little bit and. Then um Salido start his punches start to land a little more in the later stages of the fight, but you know Gamboa I thought just outworked him, out hustled him, and um outboxed him and it won him the fight. So anyway guys, 
um, that was my last video for the day, last post fight video for the weekend. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was the distance. Peace.